Hey, look, a Charizard. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I'll just rip the Charizard in half. Because I'm a big man. Hey guys, my name is Paulie, welcome to Pippi Up, and today is Single Pack Saturday, and yes, I did just rip a Charizard card in half. But don't worry, don't worry, don't stress yourself, I haven't gone crazy. It's fake. It's a fake. Yeah, so you guys may have seen uh, my eBay delivery that I got for really, 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 really cheap. It was like hidden. It was a hidden thing. Didn't know it even had cards in it and blah blah blah. Well, during the video I was, I was playing with a few of the cards and I was like, no, this can't be right. Don't feel right. Blah blah blah. And it turns out my suspicions were right. In fact, out of the 250 cards, 60 of them were fake. Including that Charizard, which was very depressing. Basically, everything from... Uh, is it Dragon's Exalted? Yeah. I think it might be Dragon's Exalted. Anyway, everything from this set, you can see the symbol here, it goes in focus, is fake. So basically... Oh, and... And, not just that one. <laughs> so everything from that set, and everything from uh, this set, which I can't remember the name of. Basically, anything in those sets were fake. Now, I literally, I was looking at them and I knew there was something wrong. And basically, look, you can see like the white, see the little white line going down through them? Yeah, that's not right. That's just not right. <laughs> but yeah, they look like cheap photocopies. And basically, basically, that that's what they are, cheap photocopies. Which is fine. I, I knew there was something up. And luckily, I did have some help from uh, another poker tuber by the name of Dark Gore. If you haven't seen his videos, go check him out. He does a lot of vintage stuff, so he knows his stuff. And uh, basically the big red flag for him when he first looked at the video was um, the level X's. So the level X's should have a shiny border all the way around the outside, like the Garantino promo did have, because that was a real one. And these ones don't, they just have the yellow. So he just said, that was a fake. He knew that straight away. And that made a lot of sense because I've got, oh, I was Power Keepers. No, no, Charizard was Power Keepers. So yeah, Power Keepers and whatever this stuff is. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that was a big shout out. And as soon as he said it, I looked at some of my older Level X cards and yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so those Level X cards were all crap except for the Garantina promo. And unfortunately, this Cradley is also fakes. But the... <laughs> The hollow energy from Power Keepers was real. So, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so these were fakes. These are a bit annoying. So is the Charizard being a fake. It's a bit annoying. Uh, this, I don't really care about this. This was all kind of throw away -able anyway. It didn't really, didn't really do anything. It was all disposable. But that still meant a lot of the cards were real. Like the Dark Charizard was a real one. Quite a lot of uh, Neo, well, all the Neo and everything else was all real, so that was fine. It was just, it was just this crap. So yeah, don't worry, I haven't gone crazy. I didn't just rip a Charizard in half for nothing. It was to prove a point. This card is fake. As soon as I got them out, started looking at the backs, I was like, oh yes, oh oh yes, very fake, very very very, very fake. Anyway, that's it from me on uh, the subject. So uh, go check Dark Ghoul's channel out because he's a really good guy. He's really helped me out doing that. Just double checking everything and give me some advice. And we are going to get on and open one of these boost packs. So the boost pack for today was uh, we gave you a choice between all the Roaring Skies art. And you guys chose Mega Rayquaza. So can Mega Rayquaza help us with our win-loss streak? I think we're on 4-12 now. I think that was the plan. No, 4-8. Four, four, eight. Four, eight. So, you know, 
I made down 12 episodes, so yeah, 4 8. So, can this Rayquaza pack produce something awesome? Don't think codes matter in this set, so 1, 2, 3. To the front. And away we go. Just help the public surface that one. One is real, and one is definitely fake. <laughs> Just so you know. Right. Let's let's go through this. So we've got Ulterior. We've got oh, we've got a revive. We've got a ninjask. An Inke. A Wingle. A Halucha. A Cascoon. A Dratini. A reverse switch. And the rare is be something good. Be something good. Ulterior Legends Nights non Yeah. <laughs> nine four guys. Nine four. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's alright. Remember when I get to twenty losses, this is the end of the series. Just bear that in mind. When you're choosing your next choice. So for next week, it's literally just a choice between these three different sets. So we've got a breakthrough, a breakpoint, and an ancient origins. I don't haven't opened many of these, so you know. But then again, these can have breaks in them. And breaks count as a win. Oh, open something new. Open something with more of a chance to win. That's actually quite a tough call. Yeah, so I'll leave that with you guys. You figure out which one I'm gonna open next week and uh, I'll see you next time. Got some great stuff coming up, so just keep your eyes open.